Here, in our home Sri Lanka, and increasingly around the world, tea is often a staple in our lives. Many of us wake up with the craving for a fresh cup and it keeps us going throughout the day. There are five basic types of tea. White, green, black, oolong, and pu'er. And each tea requires a different method of preparation. Black tea is the preferred type in Sri Lanka and this part of the world, with green tea having gained a significant number of fans over the past few years. But how do you make the perfect cup? Now, everyone has preferences, but there's a science to it. One, water. Two, temperature. Three, preparation. Four, steeping. Five, presentation. Step one, choosing the right water. Before you begin boiling the water, pay attention to the type of water. This will help enhance the flavor and quality of the final cup. Take care not to reuse water which has been boiled previously as it would contain depleted levels of oxygen that would not help circulate the flavor of your tea. In Sri Lanka, as in states like Texas or Southern California, we have hard tap water with high mineral content. This will lead to scummy float and should be avoided. Use filtered or bottled mineral water for boiling. If you are in a region with soft moderate water, such as Wales in the UK or Vancouver or Toronto in Canada, you may use tap water. Keep it running for a minute before you fill your kettle. Running water helps ensure the water is well aerated and full of oxygen to help circulate the flavor of the tea. Step two, the right temperature. Green and white teas must never be steeped in overboiled water. That's when it tastes bitter, when in fact it is a subtle tea. When tea leaves get bruised by extreme heat, they release tannic acid, which ruins the flavor of the tea. The optimum water temperature for green teas is about 82 degrees Celsius. That's when the water begins to simmer. You'll notice small bubbles forming. Another trick, if you don't have a thermometer, is to let the water reach its boiling point and then let it sit for three minutes. On average, a kettle at boil cools two degrees per minute. Black teas fuse best at a higher temperature, at around 99 degrees Celsius. This is when it reaches a rolling boil with big bubbles forming rapidly. Turn off the heat immediately as you don't want to overboil the water as it will lose its dissolved oxygen content, causing the tea to lack flavor. It's the circulation of oxygen that carries the tea flavor through your cup. Step three, preparation. Ideally, use ceramic or glass to make the tea as metal jugs, cups, and teapots will lend an unsavory metallic taste to your tea. Wash the teapot with fresh boiled water. It will absorb the heat and help the tea leaves fuse better as the water you pour into the teapot will be at the right temperature for steeping. Step four, steeping. Add one teaspoon of loose leaf tea per cup into the teapot. You may add two teaspoons for leafier teas like Tea Kruthi's Salon Ivory. Then add water accordingly. Green tea must never be steeped beyond three or four minutes as the leaves will be damaged and it will turn bitter. Black teas require at least three to five minutes of steeping to give it enough time to infuse, but no more. Step five, presentation. Use a strainer to gently strain the tea into another teapot. Don't discard the used leaves as they may be reused. Most high-grade leaves, like those available on tea kruti, may be steeped up to three times and still taste delicious. This is the ideal method for making the perfect pot of tea. There you have it, the perfect cupper.